What's up Android fans? Tech and Me is back and this time we have some cool stuff in store for you. So let's get to it. All right, today's app roundup. Let's start with the Sense 3.0 lock screen. It's called Agile Lock. It's free on the Android market. All you have to do is download it and then click start. Once it's started, you're set to go. Lock it unlock it and you have the Sense 3.0 lock screen with the smoothness of it all. All you have to do if you want to go to the, straight to the dialer you just have to wait you just have to go straight to the dialer. You want to go straight to the camera you just have to bring the camera there. Unlock it boom! As simple as that. That's Agile Lock. Okay next up we have Flicky Wallpaper HD. This is a wallpaper app all you have to do is select your wallpapers. So it's a vast variety of wallpapers to choose from. Your basic ca categories are popular wallpapers or you can go to popular albums or you can go to categories or just feeling lucky and it'll choose a wallpaper for you. Let's go to popular wallpapers. When you hit the popular wallpapers, all the wall wallpapers pop up. Now you can just choose which one you like and you can just download it. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Let's go back. Let's check out the categories. Lots of categories to choose from. Let's choose Android and see what we have. And boom, we have lots of Android guys popping up. The colored Android guy. Hmm, pretty nice actually. All we have to do to download is set as or just go to more and go to save. So that's Flicky Wallpaper HD. Lots of wallpapers to choose from. I always like a good wallpaper app and this one's a good one. Next up. Next up we have Mspot Music. Mspot Music is a cloud music storage app. So it gives you 5 GB, that's 5 gigabytes of uh, storage that's on the cloud. So all my music right now is on the cloud. Nothing's on my phone. So all you have to do is go to your app. Once you've uploaded all your music through your laptop, you have to download an Mspot uh, music app for your laptop and then upload all the music to the Mspot.com and then all your music is in the cloud. You can So we have radio, playlists, albums and artist. An artist we can just go to whichever we want. We go to Enrique Iglesias, we click the song we want it to play and so as you can see, boom, right off the cloud. It's a really good, um, let's pause this. So it's really good, really fast service, so it's awesome. That's Mspot Music, 5 gigabytes of online storage. Next up we have Photoshake. Photoshake is a nice little app. Let me show you what it does. You go to basically you go to multi photo you go to image picker and then you get to choose images let's choose some random ones let it load up okay so let's choose this one 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 whatever okay and then once you're done we wait now it has all its photos right once it has all its photos, all you got to do is give it a good shake and it arranges them. You want it again? Shake it up. And boom, a different sort of arrangement. Let's have a vertical one. Yeah, see? It even gets up vertical. Let's give it one more. And boom. Once you like it, you can just click as share. You can share it with Facebook, whatever you want, or you can even save this picture for once you can edit it and then you can save it so that's photoshare and you can even set it as a wallpaper so that's photoshare awesome app for mixing and matching different photos back alright next up we have another photo app but this one is just a photo viewer this is called fishbowl photo gallery and it's in beta let's go to fishbowl photo gallery so you have all these photos arranged, right? So you can just choose whichever you want to view. Like suppose I want to see this one. 
I like it. So it's a different kind of gallery. To zoom in, I just have to hold on to the corner and zoom out, zoom in. I don't want this. Next up, just flick it and it goes. I can always change the angle, minimize it, modify it, next, next. So it's pretty cool. I can switch photo close, photo close. So it's different photos. You can always view your photos in a different way. So this is a nice little app for viewing your photos differently. Next up we have Google Task or basically it's G Tasks. So G Task is a good little app. All you have to do is add your tasks. It's a to-do list. So you add a task and whatever you want it done. You set a due date whatever you want to set it as and then you say today or tomorrow and then go to set and then once you have it set you go back and there boom you have it right there it syncs it up with your calendar with your calendar app so that's the cool part once it's done you can always click the click button and it crosses it out not done not done done so it's pretty good it's just a basic to-do list so a fun little app and the best part, it syncs with your calendar. Next up, we have Itching Thumb. Itching Thumb is basically an app that lets you access different... It's a multitasking app, basically. So let's go. Let's open up our dialer. And click the home button. Let's open up our contacts. Click the home button. Let's open up our browser. So these are apps that we haven't completely closed. So these are all running in the background. Now Itching Thumb, what this does is it gives you a card view of all the open apps. Like right over there we have our browser and then we have our contacts and then we have our dialer and we have some other stuff that's open. So we want to go to our dialer, just click on the dialer and boom we're in the dialer. So it's a card view kind of thing, it's like the Palm Pre. And if you, wanted to, if you want to get rid of an app, all you have to do is flick it up and it closes that app, flick it up, close that app, flick it up, close that app. So it's a nice little app to switch apps. And the best part about it is you don't even have to uh, go into the app. You see that little, little black little thingy right there? All you have to do is click that and boom, you're in the card view again. So whichever apps are open and running in the uh, background, you can always access them through Itching Thumb. So that's Itching Thumb. Next up, next up we have Colorize Widget. Basically you go to Widgets and then you have Colorize Widgets to choose from. You have Agenda, Bookmarks, Calendar, Contacts, Facebook, Google Reader, Messages, Timeline and Twitter. Let's add Twitter for now just for an example and boom you have it. It's scrollable widgets. It works perfectly and smoothly so it gives you a 4x4 four four widget, whether it's calendar, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. So it's a nice little app and it's scrollable, so that's the best part about it. So that's Colorize Widgets. Next up we have Gravity Home. Gravity Home is basically a live wallpaper. So let's go to Gravity Home. Where is this? Gravity Home. And you set it. Uh, basically you choose different apps. You go to settings. You choose whatever app selection. You go to app selection and you choose whichever apps you want. And watch what happens now. Set it as wallpaper and boom it's in the background. You switch it and all these apps are falling down. And the best part about it is these apps are totally interactable. You click on it and you go straight to YouTube. You click on this one you go straight to market. Uh, we don't want to donate right now so maybe later. So we're straight in the market, the new market that we have. So that's, what was that? That's Gravity Home. So that was the best live wallpaper of the week and these were the top best Android apps of the week. Tell me what you guys thought is your favorite app of the week. My favorite by far was Agile Lock, the best lock screen since 3.0. I was looking for a one like this for a long time and now I have it. So this is my lock screen for a while. And best part, it even runs with live wallpapers in the background. Cool, right? That's it. Don't forget to hit that like button. And bye-bye. Take care.